I'm Evie Hoffman. Today I want to give you some simple anisomatic exercises for neck pain and neck tension. The neck muscles are in particular sensitive to emotions. So with any emotional or mental stress, we'll reflexively tighten our neck and it looks like that. You will kind of put the head forward lift the shoulders up, the shoulders go towards the head of the neck and everything tightens in the back. Now when this happens a lot and actually I'm also doing partly this video because especially after the Trump election I saw just in my small area where I'm working with my clients there was a large percentage of people with neck problems and neck pain. So this is an example that, you know, when usually, let's say, the fight and flight reflex, when it happens to animals, they will fight or flee, and it will be for whatever it takes, a minute or so, and afterwards, they'll relax and everything's fine. But with us, the first thing, you know, things like this through our thoughts and the daily news, it gets triggered over and over again. And so eventually these reflexes, our pattern gets habituated. And, you know, this reflex with lifting the shoulders and tensing the back of the neck, it just becomes a pattern and then there's no wonder when we're you know it might not look just like like that but just you know when we are so tight that will cr create all kinds of uh, pain in our neck so so I want to give you first an exercise if you notice that in self if you do have some tension and you feel the pain to you know just be aware and what we do in Hannah Somatics, in any pattern, we go first a little bit more, a little bit stronger into it, and then we release out of it. So, and before you do this, and you can just follow with me now to do this exercise, just want to make sure, don't do any movement that causes pain. So this should not cause pain at all. So then you don't do that, or you just do very little. All right, so, so this exercise I'm going to show you now, we go first, what we do is maybe just first take a conscious breath and notice the tension in your neck or the shoulders and then just go into this pattern, lift the shoulders, then tilt the head back and forward and of the shoulders reach up to your ears oh, and everything's so tight and then slowly release that breathe out and let the shoulders come down and don't force this don't force the shoulders down but you'll see you do this a few times and you'll relax out of this and the shoulders come down naturally so do this again Lift the shoulders, tilt the head back, and then let the shoulders come down, and let the head go get long, the neck get long in the back. And one more time. When you breathe in, with lifting shoulders. And out, let the shoulders come down and relax. So now I show you another simple exercise to release the tension here in the upper trapezius. And so to for some feedback, let's start with the um, left shoulder, put the right hand on the 
muscle right here where it's tense and then again just lift the shoulder feel it tightening underneath your hands and then slowly let the shoulder come down don't force it down just let it come down as far as it wants to and again lift the shoulder feel the tightening under your hands and slowly let the shoulder come down and you also can use the hand to give a little bit resistance I mean not strong the neck the shoulder is very sensitive so no strong hard movements there and you just give a little bit resistance so you can push against your hand a little bit feel how this muscle tighten and with this you access the, your conscious part of the brain and slowly release that This is what we call in higher somatics the self-pendiculation, a strong, strong voluntary contraction and a slow voluntary release. So with this we access the conscious part of the brain and we're overriding that reflexively held tight shoulder, which is really in the lower part of the brain, which keeps it an autopilot tight. So now let's do it on the other side. Again, so now you put the left hand on the right shoulder and you can keep, use this hand all you to feel the tight muscle but also to give a little bit of assistance. So pull up the shoulder and release. And you can also, what you can do then to increase this tightness of the trapezius, you can also bring the ear towards the shoulder and the shoulder towards the ear and then come out of this and release and one more time and slowly go down and release now I want to show you one more one more exercise with because what also happens is that you can get quite tight in the muscles that rotate the head. And again, you know, with animals, fight or flee, and it's all done. But with us human beings, it's not so easy. Sometimes we cannot fight, sometimes we cannot flee the situation. And what happens, more and more the stress hormones build up and... We can also get quite angry then have this anger and what happens is that we actually when we're angry or also depressed or we we don't move our head and these muscles which turn the head get quite contracted so for this i'll show you this next simple hand somatic exercise so what you do is first just move your head from one side to the other and again don't go into pain and if this hurts don't do that it might be very small the movement so just move the head first and see to which side can I move my head easier so let's say you can move your head easier to the right side and it's more restricted to the left side. So what we do, we put the right hand on our right cheek and then just use this and keep the tension and move the head to the right side. So we tighten all these muscles that turn the head to the right side and just do this very gentle with the hand. It's just a little bit of feedback. And then release that, keep the tension with the head and you're not pushing with the hand. It's just to keep this feedback. 
let the head go just as far as it's comfortable and as it wants to the left side. And then you push back again against your hand and ease off and move the head to the left side. Maybe it goes a little bit more. Make sure not to push with the right hand. And you can do that also without the hands. Just move to the right side. And then slowly move to the left side. And then we repeat this on the other side now. So you can put your left hand on the left cheek or do it without the hand. Just I want to make sure you don't push with this hand. Let's do it now without the hand. Just move the head to the left side. You tighten all the muscles that turn to the left and then you release that and you move the head to the right side. Do it one more time. Move the head to the left. And then you release that and move the head to the right. And now I just want you to show you some additional exercise which is very effective to release the muscles. So while you move the head to the right, your eyes go to the left. It's first difficult, but really helps to release the muscles that turn your head. So you move the head to the right and the eyes go to the left. And then you can move your head to the left and the eyes go to the right. And you move your head to the right and the eyes go to the left. So you keep on doing this. In the beginning also, when this is very unusual and it just doesn't work, you also can keep your focus, let's say, forward with the eyes. Just keep the eyes there and move the head towards the other side. And keep your eyes forward and move. So I hope this was helpful to relieve your neck pain. If you have really strong neck pain, I would suggest you see a henna somatic or a clinical somatic educator to just help you with some hands-on movements to get out of this pain. But then just also pay attention during the day. You know, am I tight? Am I uptight? Do I feel like this? And sometimes it's, just, it's enough just to do this one time. Just go one time tighten a little more and then release it or you feel like I'm so angry and I'm, I'm looking for you know so you get kind of really stuck and so then just go feel that and just move your head a little bit move it just once so you don't go through the whole sequence but just have some awareness and with this you can over also override these reflexes and they don't control you you eventually you can notice when it happens to you during your life and and then you can just you know release this muscle so at least you don't have to get into pain and into tension and you whatever comes on you can work with that so let me know how this works for you and be well